I love making giant holes in the ground. Love it. My favorite place to do it is in downtown Toronto, where your neighbors are 60-story skyscrapers. These are challenging and fun, not just because of who your neighbors are, but because when you dig into the bedrock for your tunnels or your foundations, that bedrock moves. In fact, the very act of making a hole in the rock starts a special kind of movement called swelling. And swelling is when the volume of rock gets bigger over time. Your rock is increasing in volume. It's kind of like how a sponge expands when it gets wet. What this means is that over time, the rock is going to push against your structure. Now, we're not talking about huge amounts of movement, two inches at most. But just imagine what would happen to your house if your foundation walls all moved in even just half an inch. And it takes a long time for this movement to happen. So as a result, you can build your underground parking garage, but the damage isn't going to show up until two, three, maybe even five years into the future. Because of how swelling rock behaves, it's important that you solve the problem before it becomes a problem. And that's where my research comes in. The first question is, what happens to that rock when you dig a hole in it? So I've been out collecting information from the field in tunnels and excavations, and measuring how much swelling is happening and how long it takes for that to happen. This information can be combined with existing lab tests in order to create a rock-solid understanding of how that swelling rock behaves. The second part of my research is to take this field information and use it to create a computer program. This program will accurately calculate <coughs> how much movement is happening and how long it takes for that movement to happen. This will be a tool that an engineer can use to predict the stresses that will act on a structure. And that will lead to more efficient and cost-effective infrastructure in the Toronto bedrock. Now, swelling rock is not actually unique to Toronto. So even though my research will have its foundations there, it will be applicable wherever swelling rock can be found. And that, ladies and gentlemen, means that I get to make a giant hole in the ground wherever I want. Thank you.